Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Truth Will Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading and it will be for April 2021 for the sign of Sagittarius. So let's pull your first card. We're going to pull a few oracle cards. Remember these are just messages or guidance and it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you. Okay, month of April, what do we have for Sagittarius please? Angels, Spirit's Guides. Okay, first card, Sagittarius, we have do something different. Could be in terms of perceptions, also can be in terms of actions. Okay, message for Sagittarius, please. Message for Sagittarius, thank you, for April 2021. What is the message from Spirit, please? For our lovely Sagittarians, thank you. Okay nature this is a time to absorb the healing properties that nature has to offer your mind body and soul need nourishment energy revitalization and strength nature has much to offer so take this time to connect and spend some quality time outdoors that could be do something different here can also be very good at getting perspectives you know uh putting things in perspective Feel good energy with nature. Okay. Yeah, we have number 27, meditation. Improvements require persistence. Uh, so there's definitely an energy of keep on going at something. I mean, improvements require persistence. Okay. And final message for Sagittarius, please. Dove, spread messages of peace and harmony, Archangel Bokpi. I mean, that can be how we vocalize ourselves or put our energy out to the universe, you know. Um, and we have Panda, stay balanced and in your essence, Archangels Mary, Jophiel and Sandalphon. I mean, it's whether you're trying to do something different and it feels like there needs to be some kind of persistence or keep on at something. I mean, nature is about, you know, perspectives, growth, you know, um, revitalization. I'm definitely getting this energy if you're trying to do something different. Let's pull some cards and see what we get. Sagittarius. So I'm going to pull three cards in total. So message for Sagittarius, please. Message for Sagittarius, please. April 2021. What do we have for Sagittarius? Thank you. What is the message from Spirit, please? For Sagittarius, please. Okay, so it's kind of come out more reverse than upright, the Five of, of Cups, which I like. I like. Two of Cups. And the world. Uh, nine of pentacles here, Sagittarius. Okay, it feels like something's ended here, Sagittarius. But definitely an energy of in April, you're going to be okay. I mean, there's a feel good energy around this. The result is you're going to be okay. You have to persist at something here. Again, this do something different. I mean, that might resonate with you on a number of levels. It can also be in terms of your perceptions, how you're looking at something. Because the Five of Cups upright can be looking at the negativity, looking at what's gone, looking at what's lost. And what this is in regard to is the Two of Cups. Um, so the loss, it feels like some kind of loss of a bond between two people. It feels like a relationship breakup to me. This can also be to do with offers or invitations, so maybe losing some kind of offer or an invitation. 
Um, but the message is just allow yourself to look at there's positivity all around you with those two cups that are still full. Even though these cups are spilt, you know, there's emptiness. Uh, there, there is something that is very fulfilling around you. There, all is not lost. And it's time to release. When the Five of Cups is reversed, it's time to release from looking back. It's time to release from focusing on what's gone, what's been regrets, you know, uh, could I, should I have done something different? You know, it, it feels that kind of energy. Um, but you're chastising yourself. You might be feeling this, but the message is the world now, it's time for you to step through to a new phase of your life. The world is an energy of completion. Um, and it's a card of achievement, having come through the tests and challenges of the past journey, but being ready to end that cycle now and step through to a new cycle. So it feels, it, I have to say, it feels more like some kind of relationship breakup here, Sagittarius. Oh, lost opportunity, but it definitely feels in this situation. Put it behind you. Uh, because this is, this is coming through the test, overcoming that test and coming through the other side and being ready for that new beginning. Conquering those tests and challenges that you've experienced in this. And again, leaving it as experience because the Nine of Pentacles... I mean, there's so many levels to this card, as there are to many of the cards. Uh, Nine of Pentacles is a card of um, feeling good in your own independence. This is self-value, self-worth, getting what you deserve. You know, it's that kind of energy. So this is about you standing in your own value, connecting to your own value. And interestingly enough, it's earth energy. So very much connected to nature, connect back to who you naturally are. Um, Ground yourself, focus yourself, know your own worth, know your own value, stand in your own self-esteem. Um, there's definitely this energy also here of material success here. Again, this can be a victory card too. Um, so some kind of material success, uh, Sagittarius. But it feels if, you're, if you've separated in a relationship, you're going to be okay on your own. And that's what the message is. Focus on what, what brings you value into your life, whether it's to do with your money, career, finances, whether it's to do with you reconnecting to your core, who you are now. Um, allow yourself to embrace the new energies, the different energies that are coming your way and almost kind of like draw a line into something. The message is improvements require persistence. You're going to come through the other side of it. But in order to do that, there's definitely an energy of just allow yourself to find that harmony again, stay balanced and in your essence, and you're going to be okay. Very good in terms of money, career, finances, very good in terms of self-esteem, self-worth, feeling really good where you are on your own. Um, so love that energy. Let's pull a final message. Final message. Interesting. We, I mean, this can be, I mean, we've got, we rejoice when you find love. Love comes in unexpected ways, number 24. It feels like self-love to me could also be new love for some of you, you know, being ready to step through to a new phase of your life. So for some of you, there could be definitely this kind of opportunity of new love coming your way as well. Um, or experiencing the different spectrums of love, you know, friendships, um, you know, family, uh, you know, you kind of get what I'm saying, but it definitely feels in this energy, you're going to feel pretty good on your own, you know, the nine of pentacles is a really good, is a feel good energy, um, so yeah, it feels very, very beautiful. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you, Sagittarius, and I will see you next time. Thank you.